So for tonight's card reading, um, first we have the fertility card. It's made its appearance, and um, I think that's why I was using that word earlier. It's generally here to show us our growth is on the horizon, which we've all been feeling that major shift in how we're all growing, and this new year is going to be just pretty much really awesome for all of us. Um, but to remember we are the creators and the seeds that have been planted, and that when we're happy and comfortable and full of light, everything we create and everything around us shall be too. So really what you put out is what you're going to grow. And all the seeds that we are planting already are ready to sprout, whether they're the abundance, prosperity, um, family, children, ideas, our own thoughts. Whatever we've been really putting our energy into are now starting to grow and be birthed into this new world. And what better time than at the, at the new year for all this to happen. So we just need to be patient as we watch everything take root and grow because things grow at their own pace. But just be sure you're nurturing the right things at this time and putting your energy into the, just things that are helping you and not bringing you down. Like a plant, if it, gets, if it puts its energy into the wrong leaves, it's not going to grow to its full potential. It's just going to stun its growth. Um, it also represents femininity in Mother Earth. And just the beautiful maiden on the card, she holds the light to show that um, we can grow from its warmth and its love. And she's just emanating light from her heart chakra and her solar plexus. And Mother Earth is just here to embrace us on our journey. And that's what we've all been called here in the first place. Um, but also, just as we interact with others around us, that we just need to remember to be gentle and to act from a loving space and to remember where our heart center always lies. Which brings us to our second card. It tells us that we can rejoice in the celebration of the new year. And since we are so strongly growing together, that it's a time of merriment and victory is, is in hand. And at this time, we are doing what we love most. And by pursuing those passions and growing those seeds, that there is no limits to what we can achieve. When the energy of excitement and love is present, you can surely feel it moving in and around you. Um, the number three also, it symbolizes unity and a time to rejoice in gratitude and sharing. Be with family, friends, coworkers, whomever may share the joy with you, not bring you down. It's the moment of fruition and all of your dedicated work is really, really just showing itself. It's good to pat yourself on the back and dance just a little bit because that's good for your soul. Um, the last card is Solitude, which may seem to be a little contradictory to the last card because it's asking you to take time for yourself. But in this game, it, it really or in this case, it really seems to represent that though we're all celebrating and starting the new year, it's really the beauty of all the growing projects. It's time for you to sit back and just do a soul check in with yourself, check in with your divine guides, and it's very important to take that personal time and. Make sure your path is going just the way that you and your soul wants it to. And everything will slowly fall into place just right, as it always does, so you don't have to rush things to grow. Because everything, like I said, grows at its own pace. And it's important to clear your mind so that those frequencies may be received properly from your divine. And when taking the time for yourself, you may also discover something in your growth that you never imagined, and it'll start blossoming into your world. So to sum it up, and the divine is glad to show us that we're all growing so rapidly, but it asks us not to forget that we need to take that space for growth to continue and to not get caught up in our worldly celebrations. I know I personally have been really busy and it's been hard for me to step back and give myself that time. And with everything growing so quick around us, I know I personally am wanting to be finished the next step to see the response and to share it with everybody. But I know that it's important to not get lost and I'd like to remind all of you that too. So just remember to enjoy yourself in the world around you, because it could be later than you think. And that's all I really have. 